so the plan is this backrest of the sofa is going to keep me anchored during rolling and pitching so yeah i i think so this will work yeah this will work it really rolls very bad we'll just you know eliminate some kind of rolling motion okay it's just going to help me stick to the bed that's all uh the problem is not the rolling i mean rolling is manageable but the problem starts when the ship goes pitching and rolling together and that's where it goes all here i said you better watch what you do and cuz i ain't gonna stop when i'm moving i'm headed to the top i'm a do it i'm headed to the top i'm a prove it and baby girl i like what you do and your body's out of sight when you're moving you look just like my type so let's do it you know i'll treat you right let me prove it and i could go all night i'm sick of being nothing all right i'm gonna be something all fight with every breath trust me i'm gonna be the one at the top you can't touch me i need to find so in this video i'm going to share my experience of seasickness how did i overcome it how did i cope up with it right there are a lot of other seniors or a lot of other people who were involved in this because i was when i was facing sea sickness it was all crazy i even thought of i am going to go home the next port it was that bad for me i am i am i kill you not i kill you not seriously uh, because the last ship that i did was 180 meters yeah and this ship is not even 100 meters it's 99.9 technically right so it rolls and pitches a lot okay and it kind of did not suit me at the start all right i used to vomit five to six times a day and it was all crazy so there were people who were helping me out and it did work out for me so here's my experience it might help you it might not these are my views but as it has helped me so i'm sharing this all right so let's begin with the video here we go i will i was a kid who had motion sickness all the time right and it was kind of difficult for me to travel with via a car via a bus okay i just couldn't take it uh, so i used to vomit all the time right i used to vomit all the time but never did i know that i am going to make a career around motion sickness right 23rd of november 2022 we are passing through uh, we are going to australia from new zealand and uh, look at the weather right now yeah it's passing that much yeah it is called as tasman see he is ab neeraj he yeah. is going to sign off right now he is very happy बस बुरे हाल है दो तीन दिन से मजे हो रहे हैं 25 डिग्रीज रोलिंग 20 25 डिग्रीज रोलिंग आई गेस 30 डिग्रीज है ना 30 डिग्रीज ज्यादा है एंड जस्ट लुक एट द वेदर अमेजिंग एंड यू कैन सी द फ्रेम गोइंग अप एंड डाउन स्लाइटली आई एम करेंटली नॉट इन द स्टॉर्म देयरफॉर आई एम एबल टू मेक द वीडियो बट यू नो हाउ इट इज राइट so this camera is also moving us little bit or right. thing is currently i'm not in the storm currently i am out of the storm but still by looking just at the camera just at the screen i am feeling nausea i'm feeling little bit nausea okay but i don't i, I mean I, it's manageable it's not that it's not manageable okay uh, now let's talk about what aspects helped me overcome it okay first of all you know um, let me tell you that it's going to be hard okay for me it was hard so during the starting phase your body is literally trying to adjust to the motion because you know what happens is as soon as your ground moves your liquid level inside the ear there is a small liquid level inside uh, both of your ears which helps your brain decide whether you are balanced with the ground or not but as the ground keeps moving your liquid level inside the ear keeps moving and then you your your senses go crazy your it tells your brain that the ground is moving but to your eyes everything is stable so your brain couldn't can't decide anything and then you have nausea and once you have nausea you start vomiting and it will cause crazy so it's going to take time to adjust so hang in there all right i'm i'm just being serious just hang in there okay the thoughts are crazy because i used to vomit five to six times a day and there was a point where i used to if i used to eat anything i used to vomit and to avoid that i stopped eating which you shouldn't do at all right i have lost weight obviously i have lost weight but to you shouldn't stop eating i am not 
kidding you can't stop eating why there's a re- reason behind it as well your body produces acid right and if you don't give it food the acid gets collected in the stomach and then you have acidity and then that enhances that nausea feeling okay so here it is you no matter what start eating don't don't stop even though you vomit you eat okay stay hydrated the second point is stay hydrated the first point was eat food no matter what no matter what eat food the second point is stay hydrated i know now drinking water is very hard when you have a nausea i'm not kidding even though even if you drink water you'll vomit that's that's the hard truth i used to drink water i used to vomit uh, so i started drinking glucon d and it helped because your body is losing a lot of water you need to make yourself hydrated and glucon d is the best option because it gives you glucose which your body needs at that time because you're not having food you're not feeling like eating food you're low on energy you have to work and apart from this you are on ship you are a officer you have to do watches so you have to go so on the watch no matter what therefore you need to eat properly and even though you vomit you need to drink again then vomit again but the thing is after you vomit you feel good okay it's not that bad all right uh the thing is now the second point is eat food the first point was eat food no matter what the second point is uh, drink water or drink glucose stay hydrated this is the most important thing all right third point is you know we all try to avoid vomiting right and once you try to avoid vomiting you try to hold it in like no 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 it's it's you know and the thing about this is you are playing mind games with yourself no i'm not going to vomit you're thinking constantly about it and it's and then you start telling yourself that i don't need to think about this i need to think about it to distract myself but controlling perception with perception is hard controlling mind with mind is hard all right so it is very difficult instead of that instead of holding it in just let it go if you have if you're feeling like vomiting just go and vomit there's no other option for it because if, eventually you'll hold it in for 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour i don't know how how long is your capacity but eventually it's going to come out so the more sooner you get get it done the more easier the life is all right once you once you vomit you will feel all good you know that feeling everybody has that feeling after vomiting that you feel all good and then you can literally eat anything and um, it will be stabilized for a few hours at least okay so not to hold it in will be my third point and now the fourth point is take fresh air okay you are at mid sea go outside take fresh air you know if it is rough don't go outside but if it is not that rough you can just go out sit take fresh air fresh air is going to help but see uh, t- take fresh air and go and look to the horizon to the horizon because uh, the horizon is going to be stable and it's going to tell your brain that it is stable so just look at the horizon it works all right the so this is the point like take fourth point is take fresh air you know the thing that it works uh, you know that lemon lemon so keep a lemon with you uh, and it's going to help you lemon is definitely going to help you out all right and the sixth point is if you're not doing anything if you have free time just go and lie down lying down is the best thing that you can do in when you have when you are motion sick or sea sick okay so you get a time just go and lie down because it's going to help you a lot okay so once you lie down the rolling and pitching motion doesn't affect you that much because you are close to the ground okay and it's it it, it will definitely help you out no matter what point doesn't no matter what point you try and it not doesn't work out for you but this point lying down is going to help you out okay and take sleep no matter what all right no matter what just go and lie down in your bed if you're not feeling if you're not feeling well because if you don't feel well you can't work and it it's going to be be crazy over here it's difficult okay to be very honest it's difficult people have left uh, left the ship because they were not able to stop the vomiting i mean i'm not i'm not you i'm not trying to scare you out yeah i lost the word there i'm not trying to scare you but there are people there are people who are very sensitive to the rolling and pitching to the motion sickness they they're very sensitive to the motion sickness and they start vomiting a lot and then there's a phase where start vomiting blood and then that goes very bad so if you are very sensitive please make sure that you consult a doctor before joining a small ship okay so here are my points about uh sea sickness and motion sickness obviously talk to your family i mean talk to your friends they are definitely going to help you out over here and have courage because this is going to pass all right this is going to i'll just share my experience how was it at the start okay 
so once i joined the ship uh, and once i started sailing from i was i joined from australia and then i was sailing to new zealand this is tasman sea it is known as tasman sea and it started getting rough a little rough not that much and the ship started rolling so the once the ship started rolling i was going crazy because the uh, it's been uh, see i i was I was at home for a period of eight months, approx. I was giving my exams and everything. And our eight months is a long time, right? After eight months, joining back to a ship and adjusting to the rolling motion is going to take a toll on your health. But, but, but humans are adaptable. Humans have proved that if if you put them anywhere, their their body is capable of adapting. So, so is the case with me. I adapted. It took me around one week or so to adapt, and it it did it did work out for me. Right now, yeah, it did work out for me. So the thing was. Um, I started vomiting and I don't like to vomit at all. I started vomiting a lot and then I stopped eating for 4 days. Yes, I stopped eating for 4 days. I mean, I used to eat biscuits, that's it. Biscuits and water and I used to vomit that also. So, no matter what, then I uh, what helped me was eating bread, okay? Bread is very light and uh, it it consumes it is consumed by your body very quickly so eat bread eat uh, soft food don't uh, eat all heavy items like non veg like chicken or anything just avoid that but eat food uh, khichdi khichdi you know khichdi khichdi is the best food during rolling and pitching because it digests faster than any other food compared to that all right so uh, it was very hectic for me but then later on once i was in the mid sea I started thinking that I I don't know whether I'm capable of doing this contract or not and so on or I I started thinking that big ships are good why did I ever come on this ship and everything it your mind plays tricks too right but then I once I crossed the Tasman Sea and reached to the New Zealand it was all quiet it was all quiet adapted again and it all went good and uh, then I realized that I crossed the ocean and I'm still alive and i am i was working in that time so i can manage if i can then you can too so it's that simple oh, okay so here are my points that helped me a lot and i hope that they will help you too so this was a small video regarding the motion sickness and my experience i hope you guys like it and um, if you guys have any doubt regarding it if you guys have any questions for me just put them in the comment section and i'll try to answer it is just me trying to help you guys and sharing my experience so to conclude the five points the first point is let me just check it out the first point is eat food no matter what all right no matter what eat food the second point is drink water or drink glucose that's the best thing drink water or drink glucose all right no matter what keep yourself hydrated and keep yourself fed all right the third point is take fresh air because it's going to help you out take fresh air and go and watch the horizon because horizon is always stable right it's you who are moving so if you're seeing the horizon you it gives your mind a perception that you are stable so it's going to help you out okay take fresh air go outside see the horizon so seeing the horizon is the most interesting thing that you can do you're in the middle of the ocean you have clean fresh air you are seeing the most beautiful sunsets or in the entire world okay so enjoy that and the third point uh, sorry the fourth point is um, the fourth point is what is it uh, the fourth point is not to hold it in all right i'm telling you again not to hold it in if you feel like vomiting just go and vomit do not hold it in it's going to consume a lot of hell lot of will power all right and the fifth and the last point is lie down when you are not busy okay just lie down and it's definitely going to help you out okay so this is so this is it and okay i have got a call i have to go hello 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 chalo bye uh duty calls i have to go so this is alex sebastian signing off i'm a fourth engineer in merchant navy and if you have any doubt regarding this just comment down below and i'll get back to you so thank you and see you there in the next video Growing bye bye here's got me a guitar said you could do anything kid you could go far you could be the president fireman race